thumbnail. That looks good. That is, how much would that be worth? I don't know. At Once. least 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, where did you get this from? Um, eBay. Bones that ring, organize a thing, jazz or swing, nice bling bling. It's on eBay. We don't know how old this is, do we? Um, I mean, it, it's not. We looked into trying to get a current one, and they wouldn't return my calls. <laughs> Apparently it's a pretty close guarded uh, design. I don't know why. I mean, don't they trust us? So this one is an older one, something that isn't used anymore, but I think the uh, the concept of it is essentially the same. You have a stack of bills, or what looks like bills. In the center, you have some kind of transmitter, a battery, and some kind of die pack that'll explode. They probably had a real one on the top with like the banding around it. Yeah, it, I'm sure they would do a couple. Get the banding on it. You know, when you're in a hurry when you're robbing banks. Not that I had enough from experience, but. <laughs> you would assume. <laughs> typically, I'm in a hurry and you're, you're trying to get everything in quick um, without having this guy go off. It gets activated when they hand it to you because it's like attached to a magnet. They pull it off of that and then that like arms it. So I've been told. <laughs> and then when you exit the building, it starts an internal timer that is set at 30 seconds a minute or something. And then it'll activate once you're, you know, away from the bank. That way you don't like kill people in a fit of rage, you know? And then you get ink all over your money. Which one of these is ink? My bet, well, that looks like a battery. So I'm going to say that that's the power. This is probably the transmitter. That looks inky to me. I think that's the thing. What do you think, it's just a strap across that? Yeah. I'm thinking that was the ink. Yeah, that's looking like it. But before we open that and look at it, we need to thank our sponsor for this video. This video is sponsored by Waterjet Knives, and we are fortunate enough to have one of the founders of Waterjet Knives here with us today to explain what their mission is. Hi, I'm Mitchell with Waterjet Knives. It is our mission to put a knife-shaped piece of metal in your hand. And my name is Dan. I am the other founder of Waterjet Knives. We offer affordable knife kits so that you can buy a knife shaped piece of metal and with your creative hands and talented hands, you can make it into something a little more stabby than that. Well, I mean, this is plenty stabby, but more cutty. Yeah. We've got a stabby point, but you want it to be able to like slice a piece of aged cheddar. We have many different knife profiles for you to choose from. You pick which knife you want, the steel that you want, whether or not you want it ground down, and we will ship that directly to your doorstep. We've got eight designs on there currently. Uh, we're adding a new one here. This is the one we're calling medium thing. And if you like the look of medium thing, we also have a small thing that you can check out. If you're wondering where the large thing is, so are we. We'll have a link down in the description or you can go to waterjetknives.com, check out our current selection, and in the future, we're hoping to add the option to design your own knife. Let's cut right to it and get to that die pack. <coughs> <laughs> Don't do it again. No, my voice sounded fine. <laughs> and... Oh, full. Oh yeah, these are like little cell batteries in there. Like calculator batteries that are all in a ton of them in series. I can't tell by looking at that, but I would assume that that is the transmitter thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's a transmitter. How does that stuff get from inside this metal container to the outside? Is this like an explosion? Does it? Because it had two wires going. I had... think there's an explosion. It's in a metal container here. I think it explodes. This is some sort of an explosive. I think we cut right through where the wires were going into it, so I can't see what those wires were connected to on the inside. They may have just like been stuck in the middle of that though. Is that all that's in there or do we get down to some different materials? There's something. 
a little ball or something in there. <coughs> I think I'm allergic to whatever it is. Well, it was all just red powder with some... With a little ball in it. Weird pellets every so often. I'm gonna sneeze now. Oh! You died? Uh, well, that's terrible. It's just like a light pink now. I expected it to be blue. Why blue? I don't know, but I'm gonna sneeze again. <laughs> I'm allergic to whatever that is. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it went away. I think it's some sort of like a mace type pepper bomb. It's like dye and pepper spray in one. It slows slows the criminal down so they can get you easier. I can feel it in my nose, like... I, ah. So it explodes this peppery powder over everything. Which blinds you and just sends you into a sneezing frenzy, which it's hard to run and drive a car when you're just sneezing. Because your eyes are closed. <laughs> I'm just trying to get it all into the line, Dan. <laughs> Do you need a credit card? A little nervous. <laughs> Keep it on it for a little bit. It's not like flammable, per se. Maybe when it's contained like that, inside that metal box, that's enough to make it explode and smoke red and get red stuff on you. Well, there's that, and uh, now you don't have to rob a bank to find out what's inside of a dye pack. And you also don't have to rob a bank to go to waterjetknives.com. <laughs> because they're affordable. And they're not a bank.